Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I wanted to explain to you all just an update regarding my gold shell LT Lite. This is the Litecoin slash Merge Mine Dogecoin ASIC miner from Gold Shell. And I had some issues with it. You guys may have saw that video recently, I think last week, that uh, yeah, just one of the hashing boards was not working. And I did some troubleshooting steps to just to see what, you know, I took it out, got my hands dirty, a lot of thermal paste all over, and ultimately it didn't work. I, I also tried different ports, power ports on the controller board here and that didn't work. So Goldshell ultimately contacted me, all right? I didn't contact Goldshell, I didn't contact Crypto Miner Bro, so let me go through the whole story here, step by step. Quick pause, this video is sponsored by Wadham.io. Wadham is a complete Bitcoin mining solutions provider and the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States. Wadham has got all your mining needs covered by offering everything from the latest ASIC miners to mobile mining containers and power transformers, as well as complete hosting services and full facility buildouts. Their team of over 100 mining experts has got you covered by offering exceptional customer service. They also offer installment payment plans, which makes getting into Bitcoin mining or scaling your existing mining operations that much easier. Link down below to wadam.io slash RPM. So I released that video and then about five hours later, Crypto Miner Bros emailed me saying, Red Panda, we will fix this for you. They said, sorry. And they said they were going to get in touch with Goldshell and Goldshell would uh, contact me and get me in touch with a support person. And then I was like, awesome. This is, this is great. This is great service. You know, I, I just wanted to see if Crypto Miner Bros or Goldshell would contact me. And ultimately they did, right? I didn't go through the proper channels like a normal person would, like through, you know, email their support or something. I was just curious to know, since I am essentially the content creator and uh, I was wondering if they watch my videos. And so they do. And then Goldshell, I think it was about 17 or 18 hours later, they emailed me and uh, got in touch with me and wanted to talk through Telegram. And I said, I don't have Telegram. <laughs> like you guys, I've, I've talked with you all before that I don't have Telegram, I don't have WhatsApp. Ultimately, I said, okay, I'll, I'll make a WhatsApp. It's temporary, guys. Letting you guys right know right now, I do not have Telegram or WhatsApp. Please don't get scammed, okay? Anyways, I was talking with them on Telegram. Actually, just one thing first. You can see that it went red here. So yeah, that this board is, is bunked, but I'll get to that. So Goldshell got in touch with them. The tech support person wanted me to, uh, they wanted to remote into my laptop so that they could communicate with the Goldshell LT Lite, right? As it is, it's wired in by network, right? And so it gets an IP address. And so ultimately, uh, here we are, we're connected to it right now. You can see here, right? It's mining now, but you can see the CPB1, it says failed to start up. So that, is yeah that means one of the hash boards is broken and so while they were connected to my laptop they were going through a debug mode in i guess the web gui in the website there was a debug mode option where they they saw a bunch of different stats and just yeah a lot of code i didn't really understand most of it but you know a good like 15 minutes later they texted me asked me to do some physical things to this lt light so one of the things was to uh, turn it off. So I turned it off and they said to swap these, uh, I guess these ribbon power cables. Normally they were, this one here would be plugged to here and then this one would be plugged to here. So uh, you can see that maybe you guys saw in the last video that the CPB1 was working on uh, on this side and then it said the fail start up on this side. So now it's the opposite because we swapped the power cables because we wanted to rule out to see if it was the controller board here, like the power board, apparently. Uh, they told me to swap it just to see, just to rule out any issue that maybe there wasn't any power being delivered through here to communicate to the control board or the hash board, sorry, the hash board here. So with the ribbon cable working on this side, right, this one would normally go on this side, it worked, no it worked fine. But then we swapped it and we figured out that, yes, it's not the control board, but it's this hash board here. And so, yeah, they're like, okay, Red Panda, this is what we got to do. Please fill out this form. I filled out the gold shell form, I guess an RMA form, and filled in my information regarding all that stuff. And then they want me to ship this hash board to them, to Hong Kong. So I said, all right, yeah, no problem. And then they will ship me a new 
I guess, LT Lite hashboard. And uh, hopefully that will come in the next couple weeks here. They said they'll send it pretty soon. So I will ultimately, I guess, yeah, I guess we can just take it out right now. I'm gonna turn it off because there's no point in me mining with this thing. I mean, one side does work, but I would rather just get both of them going. There's no point. As this LT Lite is actually, I would say, the second best in terms of efficiency against like the Antminer L7. I've talked about that before. How about on the screen here, the efficiency level of all the other Litecoin, Mergemine, Dogecoin, ASICs out there. So yeah, this one's pretty good, right? The LT Lite, it's good and it's nice and quiet as well, right? This is, this is part of their Lite series. So thank you to Crypto Miner Bros again for the LT Lite and Goldshell as well for uh, helping me, I guess, get through this and support and all that stuff. That was a pretty easy, uh, I have to say, the support from Goldshell was pretty awesome. Again, I guess it's because I'm the content creator and they gave me like, you know, first class service, all that good stuff. I was a little bit, you know, wary of them connecting to my laptop through TeamViewer, but ultimately it was fine. I was watching them the whole time. I'll show you guys some footage of what they were doing, but ultimately, yeah, we were just, we're having some fun. But ultimately the support came through and they said they will send me a new hashboard here. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. And uh, I guess for anyone that's watching, I I'm actually curious, uh, for those that are watching right now, how has your guys' support been with Gold Shell? If, if you had to have support with Gold Shell, if, let me know if any of you guys have had ASICs that were you know, broken or you needed to actually know it before I even, whew, before I even touch this, this bar here. Gotta unplug the power, cause that's this bus bar here. Some of you guys in the last video said, Red Panda, <laughs> make sure you don't touch this while it's like powered on or cause I could get shocked, right? Or there could be some residual power in the capacitors as these bus bars, yeah, it could shock me, right? That's something very, uh, very dangerous. So thank you guys for that. I have never taken apart an ASIC before and I've never seen the power structure like this before on the, uh, on the hash boards, like normally like a, a GPU mining rig, you would have like a regular power supply and cables going in, uh, not like this uh, bus bar type of thing. So anyways, guys, yeah, that's that's it. That's the story of um, my Gold Shell LT Lite here of why it was not working and Gold Shell came through. So yeah, I would like to know some of your guys' support stories, maybe not with Gold Shell, but maybe like Bitmain or uh, I don't know, in a silicon, any other maybe shipping horror stories regarding ASIC miners. I'm sure I'm not the only one that had an issue with an ASIC miner, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have gone through at least one type of uh, type of uh, RMA story, or maybe just a really bad story where the company just didn't respond at all, and they didn't send you any, any support. I mean, I, I wanna hear it. I wanna hear those stories, guys. As uh, I, I've heard of those types of stories before, and it's not nice, right? It's not nice to have a uh, ASIC company not respond to you and not have any service regarding your extremely, extremely expensive ASIC miner that you just bought or <laughs> that you just waited for for maybe over a year. That's, that's not cool, that's not fun, right? And I mean, shipping, it, it's not it's most likely, you know, when things break, it's most likely during shipping. And that is not because of Gold Shell or Bitmain or whoever, it's because of the carriers, the shipping carriers, or maybe it's because of customs. And you guys have seen my previous video, I think last week about regarding about shipping uh, crypto mining hardware to the hobbyist miner and it all got destroyed. Like it was all open and there was no, uh, there was no packing or anything on it. It was just horrible. So yeah, uh, I just, anyways, I'm just rambling on. So here's, in case anyone didn't see the previous video and made it to the end here, here is the, I guess the hash board slash control board, uh, hash board that does not work, does not power on, okay? Look at that. Look at how much thermal paste this thing has. It's just unbelievable. Just a brick, a brick of aluminum or copper. Yeah, probably aluminum, yeah. But anyways, I gotta ship this back to them somewhere in Hong Kong. That's gonna be fun. Hopefully this doesn't drop. You guys remember that in the pre previous video this thing dropped? Oh, this one. This one.
Yeah, that was that was pretty bad, but it still works with that one hash board. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one, and peace out.